And we're going to turn now to the east where wind is the real danger. Take a look at this home in the Philadelphia area. The roof completely ripped off overnight. And we're going to go to Rob Marciano, who is tracking all the latest. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Michael. Boy, it was a rough Halloween for so many people. And unfortunately, look at this damage. We're getting this fresh video out of Delaware County, uh, Pennsylvania, just near outside of Philadelphia. This home completely destroyed, at least parts of it. Someone was injured here, unfortunately. Such dangerous weather across that area in New York City. Uh, here in Queens, a lot of uh, damage from trees there. And we did have one nine-year-old girl that was hurt by a tree limb that fell on her in New Rochelle. Now Governor Cuomo is heading to the storm zone upstate. But this has hit much of the country, a huge swath of high-impact weather. Millions of Americans slammed with wicked weather this Halloween. Intense storms moving from the Midwest through the East Coast. Accumulating snow, flooding rains, and damaging winds slamming 45 million Americans. Whipping rains lashing West Virginia, winds gusting there over 60 miles per hour. This is kind of scary. Branches snapping, littering the streets, bringing down power lines, and blocking roads up and down the East Coast. Power knocked out to over 600,000. Heavy rain in Missouri, leaving this park buried under water. Roads flooded in Pennsylvania. Cars stuck, blocking intersections, stalled in the high waters. And intense winds completely uprooting trees, crushing cars in Allentown. Those vicious winds pushing trick-or-treaters around the streets just outside Syracuse. In New York City, the roof ripped off this store. In Brooklyn, a whole neighborhood losing power. This massive tree toppling onto a house, crushing the cars in the street. Milwaukee seeing their snowiest Halloween ever. Some parts of Wisconsin blanketed by more than a half a foot of snow. But the snow couldn't scare away these trick-or-treaters. Kids bundled up to collect their candy, trudging through over three inches of slushy snow in Metro Chicago. The third coldest Halloween on record in Chicago. There is seriously cold air behind this. The cold front is now pushing off the East Coast, but the wind alerts are from North Carolina all the way up through New England. It's really New York State that's getting the highest impact with these winds at that low center is just across uh, the lakes there. The topography of New York State is pretty unique. The western part of it is pretty flat. Of course, you got the lake, so the winds really get cranking across there. We've got high wind warnings that are posted for uh, parts of western New York. Buffalo up through Rochester. You're going to look at winds that could be 50, 60, 65 miles per hour. Big wind. Waves there getting across uh, Utica, Rome, New York, Albany, the Capital District. You're going to see high winds as well. And of course, these will rip across parts of the Adirondacks. But we've got advisories that stretch all the way down to New York City as well. So not just the wind, we've got the cold air. And with the with the wind, certainly we have got wind chills 18 degrees in Chicago, but feels like 26 degrees in Atlanta. Very much winter like.